countries may have several reasons to join a currency union. For instance, currency unions eliminate exchange rate fluctuations and reduce transaction costs. So countries may find it easier to engage in international trade because the exchange rate risk is eliminated and price transparency is increased. Previous research has assumed that uh, currency unions are related to an increase in trade that is the same for all country pairs in the union. We depart from this uh, one-size-fits-all assumption and we argue that the effect of currency unions is actually not the same for all country pairs in the union. We show that the effect of currency unions varies across country pairs depending on their bilateral import share or bilateral import intensity and that the effect should be larger for the country pairs that are associated with smaller import shares. As an example, consider Luxembourg and Germany. Germany does not depend much on imports from Luxembourg and its import share from Luxembourg is small. Therefore, in that case, a currency union should have a large effect on the imports of Germany from Luxembourg. In the other direction, Luxembourg is more dependent on imports from Germany, and its import share from Germany is large. So in that case, a currency union should have a small effect on the imports from Germany. We use a large data set that basically covers all global trade since the end of the Second World War, and we find on average currency unions are associated with around 40% more trade, but the effect can be up to three or four times larger for the country pairs with smaller import shares. My findings have two implications for policy. The first is that assuming that currency unions have the same effect for all members is not correct. The second is that currency unions can be more beneficial for smaller countries because they can expand their export to other countries more strongly, while in contrast for larger countries the increase in trade should be more modest.